Today, I want to show you guys some TikTok. They were TikToking it up. Tickety tack tack. Talk TikTok. Tickety tack tack. Tick tick. Tickety toe toe. You know, girl. Oh, wait, let me change my shirt. What the hell is neat? Let me put on my discontinued merch store. <laughs> my current merch store is now closed for business. <laughs> I love that. Supply chains are getting weird. Things are getting more expensive. And in order for that store to make sense, I had to make a certain amount of profit that I was never making ever when it started. I'm very sorry if you didn't see any of my messages until now. You should probably pay attention to my life more if you actually wanted to participate. Was I stupid for trying to start a store in the middle of a massive pandemic where everyone's like unemployed? Yes. People throw you curveballs. Everyone receives a lemon. Maybe next time I'll come up punching stronger, but we'll see, girl. Are you ready? We reviewed multiple TikTok communities. TikToks you guys thought resembled my energy. Now I'm going to show you guys TikToks that I send my friends. At three o'clock in the goddamn morning. Here we go. TikTok. Don't be racist. I, I am, am a, a building. building. Yeah, I, I feel like you've seen that before, right? We've all seen that one, right? Am I crazy? Have you not seen that? I'm so sorry. That one is one of my favorites. And you know my ass literally was singing it over and over again for like two months straight. Don't be racist. You know, like up in the club, like. Don't be racist. It's the VeggieTales spinoff we've always needed. Anti-racist buildings. <laughs> and then this one. When the doctor gives bad news and leaves you to do the comforting. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Wait, watch it. So unfortunately, we are going to have to cut your legs off. Watch I'm gonna go get the paperwork right now, so. My humor is just random shit. I will laugh and crack up at random shit for hours, girl. The least sense it makes, the more I love it. Ah, yes, let me comfort you by singing a very bad Shakira impersonation. Ah, uh, you're dying of cancer. And then this one absolutely made me scream. When she got a boyfriend but still hit you up. Keep on watching, don't worry. I ain't one of those motherfuckers. Like, what is the reason? Here we go. It's just the vibe, I'm that guy. Take off your hat. I know you're one of us. Join us. <laughs> Millie! <laughs> Millie! <laughs> Quiet! What the fuck? <laughs> the guy's hat is literally like defying gravity for no reason. Why would you gel up your hair like that and then put a hat on, boy? Just take it off, girl. You made your hair up. Right? I don't know. I don't know the rules of hats. I, as you see. <laughs> This video, this girl's like waiting for her partner to return from work and she's acting all dramatic. Literally how I would act 24 seven. Well, well, oink, oink, oink. If it isn't Mr. Piggy on his way home after bringing back the bacon. <laughs> I hope you're happy. I hope you had a wonderful day doing God knows what with only the devil knows who. Okay. Sales. 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 I'm about to set sail and take off for Hawaii because you have a nasty attitude abandoning me here all day with nothing to do. You have a job. Oh, I have a job. Yes, I do. <laughs> but I do it here because I respect boundaries. Don't actually suck on it. I like this one because it's literally me. I am a type of person that just wants to start random petty fights for no reason. That's just like all one big joke. Literally all he would do is just ask me if I want to fry. And I'll literally just sit there like, wow, did you just yell at me right now? I cannot believe you would just yell at me and call me a fry like that. I'm one of those bitches, I'm sorry. Oh my God, and then this chaotic ass video. I don't fucking care if it's a lie. Let me watch this, wait. <laughs> I got that on video. I got that on video. <laughs> it's like he didn't expect the elevator door to open like that. I don't know what happened. That was hilarious. You know that funny moment? That funny moment when your friends just like abuse you and it's like comedy. No? You ever look at your person and think to yourself, wow, how did I land you? You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm so grateful for you. Yeah, except I'm the one that'll be doing that in the sand. Jesus Christ. I'm the crazy one in the relationship. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, and then there's this bop. Is there someone in your life who won't leave you alone? Here's a message for them. 
Here we go. I'm fucking people who aren't you. I'm sucking people who aren't you. My DMs are flooding. I'm fucking busy because I'm busy fucking. If you don't like it, move on. If you don't like it, move on. Find someone else, keep on trucking. I'm fucking busy because I'm busy fucking. Oh, it's over. Ariana Grande wishes. Raya Carey thinks she can, but she can't. Put that on a record. Fucking busy, and then in parentheses, cause I'm busy fucking. I love it. I'd buy that vinyl. This one, I'm not even gonna explain it to you, just watch. Behold! <laughs> I am the queen dry cleaner. Welcome to my dry cleaning hole. Oh, <laughs> this is where all your dry cleaning goes when it's sent out, because nobody knows what dry cleaning actually is. <laughs> clothes off to be dry clean. But how the hell do you clean things dryly? What does that mean? How do you dry clean? What is it? Do you, sir, do you know what dry cleaning is? No. Of course not! <laughs> it is I who cleanses your delicates too difficult to wash here in the bottom of my dead pit in God knows where. <laughs> but I do dream of a better life on the surface. What is a mustard that stains a shirt so beautifully? <laughs> oh, I wish to have a mustard of my very own. Oh, I think I hear a delivery! Yeah! No, for real, what the hell is dry cleaning? I'm like too lazy to Google it too. So in my world now, that's what it is. Oh yeah, and then there's Stefan Johnson. This man does like voiceovers of like moments of like Karens on the internet, you know? He does like weird narration over like the viral videos that are going around of these like people doing crazy things. What in the Kentucky Fried Crack Rock is going on here? Kentucky Fried Crack Rock. It all starts with this couple, Luann and Buck, who decide to use a stolen credit card to buy a can of pop. Luann and Buck, a stolen credit card to buy a can of soda? Okay. But the store owner is suspicious and calls the fuss. When the cops arrive, Buck says, fuck this pop. But that is hilarious, though. Wait. They literally get in trouble and get caught because they try to use a stolen credit card to buy a can of Epsom. <laughs> what? But it gets weirder. It gets crazier. Off of a fucking can of Pepsi, y'all. Wait. Fuck Luann, too. Pushes her into the cop and tries to make a run for it. Facing down a barrel. Buck decides to pick up a pack of sunflower seeds. Yeah, yeah, good job, Buck. Sunflower seeds for no reason. Jesus Christ, am I losing light? I'm trying to film this off the natural lighting, and I just noticed it got really cloudy out of nowhere. So deal with it. In all the commotion, Luann makes a break for the back. Here comes and she has Luann. the bright idea to crawl through Watch the what she does. like this is some kind of Mission Impossible diamond heist. Crawling in the air now! Just as police are corralling Buck, the heavens open up. And here comes Luann, failing again in life. And then she finally decides that it might be time to give up the jig. Like what the hell? <laughs> What were you even thinking? How are you going to escape through the air duct? Where, what, 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 what was the end goal for that? People have been watching way too many spy movies to think that air ducts can just hold any single weight, girl. Not air ducts in a liquor store, girl. Not air ducts in a liquor store. Air ducts in liquor stores can barely hold air in the first place. Those shits are always hot. POV, your name is Ben. Yeah, I should probably goggle some cum first. Yeah, I forgot to get some bitches first. I need some dick in my ass before. What? Also remember this videos that I send to people at like 3 o'clock in the morning. So what I consider funny at 3 o'clock in the morning might not resonate to myself at like 3 p.m. in the afternoon, okay? 3 a.m. me thought this was hilarious and I sent this to all of my friends. Which made them all reply to, what the fuck? And oh my gosh, Max, stop. My friends love me. This one's so weird. All I'm gonna say right now is Avril Lavigne was in her bag. Can I play a tune? Oh, that's all right. You can go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Are you vibing with this one? Uh, next one. Okay. Next one, next one. <laughs> yeah, I think the next one will be better. German. I actually don't want to listen to this one. Oh, okay. Italian. Emily, are you vibing? Um, I'm next one, please. All I really right, am not. Right. Right. Portuguese. I think we need the next one. Right. Japanese. Girl. <laughs> I did not.
not know she recorded that song in so many different languages, but at the same time, girl, that was the song of the world. In the 2000s, girl, that was the song of the 2000s. She was the girl of the 2000s. In her bag. She and her record label saw that moment and said, oh, you're gonna be in every single language. They really locked poor young Avril Lavigne in the studio for weeks, girl. She was the Duolingo before Duolingo, okay? That Portuguese one was pushing to make sense, but you know, it was on beat. When you lie on your resume, but you got the job. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Oh yeah, and then there's this guy. Put a uh, crime tape around my bed because of how uh, how much I jerk on it. Because all the night I'm killing them. He killing them. My sheets are like like a a murder scene. Same reason. He I'm at school right now. <laughs> he put caution tape in his school, but it was like outside the stall, so he's. Splurging? Okay, oh, whatever. Oh, and then this one made me crack up. These are your calf muscles, and this- Give them- <laughs> Like random shit, that's what I'm talking about. These are your calf muscles. Give them back. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the tiniest little wiener I've ever seen. I think you know where this one's going. It's so- that's like, <clears throat> that's pretty average. I don't those, I don't know what you're those that's normal size. <laughs> we love small dick jokes because I don't have one. <laughs> I'm joking. Here's a video of Quinn sitting next to two turtles fucking. Wait for it. Wait for it. What the? Oh my god. More turtles oh fucking. Turtle orgy. Ha <laughs> ha, you know I'm sending that around, girl. The weirdest sounds when they're having sex. The weirdest sounds. But at the same time. <laughs> same, girl. Someone please explain why America uses Fahrenheit and not clitoris. Now, sweetheart, I, I don't want to give you misinformation, but I think clitoris is that little ball-headed baby on PBS. You talking about that kid, Kai. The clitoris is that one day on December 25th, you give each other gifts and you celebrate the birth of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You're thinking of Christmas. Clitoris is that math subject we had to take in high school. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh That's God. called calculus. Clitoris is that stuff you use to grease your pan before you cook something. Oh, my God. You're thinking of Crisco. Clitoris is the thing that the caterpillar goes into before it becomes a butterfly. No, 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 no. You're thinking of a chrysalis. Jesus. Clitoris is Christopher's last name. The guy who sailed over to America on the Mayflower and he sailed the ocean blue. No, no, no. That's Columbus. <laughs> Clitoris are the specialized shoes that you wear outside when playing sports on turf. Well, you're talking about our cleats. Clitoris is those big, puffy, white clouds that you see in the sky. <laughs> Why? Well, you know, just some this male humor. <laughs> What's a clitoris? I've never seen one of those before in real life. I actually haven't. I actually really haven't. Oh, you know my gay ass is setting some drag shit. Look at this masterpiece. Look at her. Here I go. Watch this. Great. The beat that I'm banging is delicious. Definition make them boys go loco. Yes. They want my treasure, mm -hmm. so they take their pleasures yeah. from my photo. Yeah. You can see me, you can't squeeze me. No. I'm not easy nor sleepy. I've got reasons why I tease them. Boys just come and go like seasons for delicious. Period. Class, we're dealing with a very playful, omniscient narrator in this text. Who is this I, this for delicious other? Than father time. Exactly. Why? Evidence in line three. You can see me, you can't squeeze me. Representing how you can see the effects of time. That you cannot physically grasp it. Further <laughs> evidence in the conclusive line. Boys come and go like seasons. Boys, meaning men, meaning mankind. And how humans will be born and die. Yet fergalicious father time always remain. And then. So delicious. <laughs> What bothers me the most is that if I was in that audience, I would have been cracking up from the start. I don't know why everybody was so quiet. I would have been throwing 20s, girl. We gotta make a rant on these comedy queens. Oh my gosh, this one's a bop. Wait, hold on, get ready. Hey. Hey. 
虹桥，然后点着就能变，它叫石拱桥；对着弯着变，它叫芭蕉扇；弹着就能变，它叫孔雀花；它叫海棠一个花，它叫喇叭一个花；它叫马鞍一个花，它叫摩圈一个花，它叫木筏一个花；它叫前后摇，然后左右再来抖抖抖抖抖抖抖狮子大张口，用手翻，然后扭一扭，压住白纸翻红的，叫做老虎口，它的两颗牙齿就在里头，然后往后面一翻，它就能变。麻古线手攀桃花，然后往上面一抓，顶着就能变，叫做甜蜜的老鹰睡大觉。这里就是老鹰的小嘴巴，把它合起来，用手甩它就能变，叫做白蛇吐剑橄榄花。两手的一掏掏，两个压后面翻出前面来看，你看看公鸡下个蛋。Don't know what she's saying, but girl, I'm living like Nicky wishing. Okay, Eminem trying to copy his bars right now as we speak, girl. Charlie XCX is trying to feature him in a song. Like, girl, this is the bop of the century. What are you talking about? What is he talking about? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. When he says he's into sports, girl, so you force your friends. To post a video of you watching the game on their story. <laughs> oh, she aggressively grabs the bottle and jerks it, girl. Oh yeah, and then these real voice TikTok fucking love them. Watch this. Bruno's real voice. Must have spent thirty-five, forty-five thousand up in Tiffany. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Running around my whole crib like it's Chuck E. Cheese. Yep, this one isn't funny, okay? We're gonna take a break from the funny real quick and we're gonna get into something really fierce. Watch this. What the fuck? Look at them. Hey, 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 hey. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, ow, bum, bow, boom, 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 pow, boom, 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 pow. Like I win. My toxic trait is thinking I can do all of this myself. Uh, bow, uh, bow, uh. Now watch this, watch. Boom, 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 boom. My ass can't get that low. Look at me. There's one part. There's one part specifically that makes me go crazy. Uh, uh, uh. Boom, pow. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. This part. Watch, bitch, 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 bitch. And backwards too, girl. What the actual? Fuck. What the actual fuck? Like who? Who said, hey, why don't we all do this together? <laughs> Absolutely insane. Apparently this is a high school in Miami or something. I don't even know. But Jesus Christ. I can try. Let me do it. Okay. No. No. And then this one, this guy pretends to be an influencer in front of his best friend whom he should keep around him at all times. All right, what's up, guys? So I thought I would give you all my morning routine. Because, you know, <laughs> same. Literally same. I've always been asking for morning routine. Anyways, every morning I wake up at 5 a.m. and I get that morning pump, get that morning grind. You know. You know. You know. You know. You know. You know. What kind of laugh at the same time? I cannot judge laugh. You hear my ass? I can like a fucking high in every two seconds. I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna let y'all go, okay? I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna stop annoying y'all. This one, I said to literally everyone because it literally feels like you're watching an actual fever dream. It's insane. With like the weirdest background music in the entire universe. But at the same time, for pop wishes, you know? Like what? It's happening. <laughs> Like, first of all, the production value. <laughs> what? Ethan! <laughs> now there's a car chase. What's going on? E4, what? Hours? B. Another on computer. What's happening? Now, plot twist. It took oil. Like, I don't, I don't even know, girl, but I said that to everyone because I was like, girl, what is this? And that's that. That's the taste of the actual stuff I send my friends. Well, wait, wait, no. Let me show you, like, one more thing. Y'all scared to moan I be in my girl ear like this? Yes, AJ. <laughs> that's 
and there you go. Shout out to these people in front of my face for retweeting my last video. Sorry, I can't say your names out loud because that video has not been out yet because it hasn't been approved or it's sponsored. This is why sponsored videos are always a pain in my butt because I can never put them out at the times I want to put them out and I have to sit here waiting for them to come out. What did we learn today, kids? We learned that 3 a.m. Mac is very weird. We learned that 3 a.m. Mac is a type of, a different type of breed, okay? At least it's not that many cursed TikTok. It's just weird shit, okay? It's just random. But like, that's TikTok in general, girl. Comment down below, what's your favorite type of TikTok? And if somebody lists a type or a genre of TikToks that I've never heard before, then maybe I might do a special video diving into that specific topic, okay? I'm literally on TikTok like once a month, so I have no idea what's going on that app half the time. So if y'all want me to see a certain side of TikTok, go ahead and comment that down below, and maybe I'll bring back the TikTok viewing series. But anyways, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. These are like the chillest videos I can ever do, and I'm glad you enjoyed them, and I'm glad we can watch some TikToks together. <laughs> My name is Maggie, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. Woo!